We're on our uh, third question today, and it is, of course, where I'm gonna tell a little bit of our story in Parkland School Division, which is 30 minutes just outside of Edmonton. We have 11,000 students, 21 school sites, and in two years we'll have 23 school sites. And so we took the actual standards of practice and uh, two years ago, and I worked directly and continue to work directly with our library learning common staff in our school division. We meet regularly, usually it's six or more meetings a year that we host, and it, they're usually half day to three quarters of a day. Uh, the uh, library learning common staff uh, plan for what kind of topics they would like to take a look at, and then I structure everything and guide and facilitate um, the information. There's lots of success sharing, because even though there's email, even though there's uh, YouTube, and we can share all sorts of things online, our library learning common staff are busy with staff and students. So they're not necessarily tweeting about their day all the time, although we do have some great leaders that help uh, do that. So lots of success sharing when they get physically together uh, to do that. There's always a professionally learning topic or topics each time we meet, and I facilitate that and bring them through those particular topics. And in our school division, we use the Follett Destiny Management System for our books. We also are using, and it's not on here yet, Mac and Via. And Mac and Via connects nicely with Destiny. What we were finding out two years ago is as we were wanting to venture more and more into ebooks and online resources, Destiny was making it very difficult. Too many hoops to go through to get the ebooks, to set them up, to make sure students could access, etc. Mac and Via, simple, and each teacher can set up their own learning resources, online resources. So it's very exciting. And then there's the, always the ed tech piece, of course, as my role as part of the ed tech facilitator of our school division, I bring that through. So how did we start this journey in the standards? We, we have the learning policy already, the learning commons policy in our school division uh, and in our province. However, we really took a look at and took apart the Canadian library standards. It is our Bible for professional learning, for moving each of our libraries across the board. So you can see them here. This was downstairs in Stanley A. Milner Library. I took them uh, two years ago in August for a full day. We had them downstairs and I had each of these themes have specific pieces to them. And they each had their stickies and went through and said, where are we at now? And then there were some ahas when they got to, oh, it's not just about me. It's about the school community. So I don't know where staff are in regards to the instructional design. So they went back and started asking the questions um, that they needed to to baseline where they were and started looking through all, all those particular pieces. So you can see in the two pictures, that's what they were doing in August. And then in June of that same school year, we took a look at how far we went. So that was the, the first year. And so you can see each theme in the Canadian Library Standards has an exploring section, an emerging, evolving, established, and leading into the future section. So for instance, the first theme, you could see one section of it. Uh, the theme is vision for learning. So where am I in a cross this so you could check off there's your growth indicator where am i at and if you weren't sure online you can actually see it in action so very powerful to see those exemplars and then this school year part of the professional learning each time we got together was a different theme so you can see this theme has to do with engagement cultivation and empowering our community of learners so within the theme, here's that vision of learning you just saw earlier. This year, we looked at the future piece. So, so what are they indicating? What's that growth indicator? So let's see what it is. 
So we took a look at that, and then we said, in Parkland School Division, based on this example, what are we already seeing? So we don't feel like there's that huge, long journey that we have to take. It's going to take forever to get to the end of it. Then what should we be trying? Very powerful. And then from there, I sit down with certain schools, and we actually set out an action plan. And I sit down with the admin team and say, what do we need to do? And then we sit down with staff. What do we need to do? So same thing, design for collaboration. Let's look at that example that was showcased in the Canadian Library Standards. What do we see already happening in Parkland School Division? And what should we be working on? So it, this year, I'm seeing them even move forward. It's not no longer check, we're here, check. It's we're here, what are we doing? Where do we want to go? And so you can see the next part of the theme. So if we look at different partnerships, here are the Canadian Library Association examples. And then again, what are we seeing occurring in the schools and what do we want to work towards? So very in-depth, really looking at things and understanding it's bigger than just themselves. 